We have breaking news in the makeup industry. Pat McGrath has just sneak peeked their next collection and I had so many of you tag me, DM me, commenting on my most recent video that you wanted to know my thoughts. So I thought, let's just turn the camera on and I'm going to do a second impressions of viewing it for you guys. I, I looked at it, of course, of course, but I haven't thought too deeply and we're gonna do that on camera. Thank you guys for tagging me. You guys know I've been busy this week. My husband's family has been in town, so I've just had these videos pre-filmed for you guys, but I did have just this little bit of time. So we're gonna talk about this because this is a big deal. But my makeup is probably not gonna be in the description box. I just randomly threw this makeup on this morning, not knowing that I was going to film. I will say I am testing the REM or REM beauty stuff today because I am going to film a review this weekend on it. This is like my third time testing this stuff out so it's a pretty look. I love today's look. Anyways, I've been wearing this makeup for 12 hours since like 9 this morning and it's 8 30. That's not important. Let's just talk about something that I did not see coming. One of the only, if not the only collab that Pat McGrath Labs has had is with Star Wars. This came out of left field, but Pat McGrath Labs is having a collaboration with Bridgerton, the show on Netflix. I, I love Bridgerton. It was definitely my favorite show that I saw last year and is probably my all time favorite show. I was obsessed with it. It was a little embarrassing. So put my two favorite things together, Pat McGrath and Bridgerton. I'm fighting you all for this collection, like fists up. You guys better not order until 9.02 a.m. because let me get this first. I need this collection. I am making my mom and Jose log on at nine o'clock to make sure that I secure this collection. When I tell you I need this collection, I don't even care what the colors are. That's the thing, I haven't even really looked at the colors, but I'm telling you now, I'm getting it and I need it because my two favorite things are having a baby and I need to be a part of it. Okay, that being said, let's do a deep dive of what we see. I'm gonna take all the screenshots from Tread Nude 1 because I just like the way that she has them compiled. <laughs> Let me move over here and you'll see the photos over here. So this is the first slide that we can see. When I saw the sneak peek yesterday of the blue, I thought it was gonna be like a highlight palette. I know a lot of you guys were saying bronzers, but the light blue packaging, that wasn't screaming to me. I thought she was gonna come out with another Sublime Trio of like her putty highlight formula maybe. That's what I was envisioning, not this at all. But you can see in this front, we have an eyeshadow palette, a blush trio, and two highlights. So this collection is going to be available December 26th, a day after Christmas. I'm gonna be on there. So let's take a look at everything up close. We'll start off with the eyeshadow palette. I'm loving the packaging, light blue and purple. We don't have that packaging really from Pat McGrath. I'm looking at my collection. We have a couple blue outer packaging of the cardboard, but we don't have a blue light blue packaging. Okay, we do. We definitely do have a blue palette now that I'm looking at it, but nothing that looks like this. This is like my kind of color story here. We have the bees. I love it. Only we'll get the references if you've watched the show, and if you haven't, make sure you watch it. And this palette is called the Diamond of the First Water Eye Blush Palette. So I think this is supposed to be able to be used for eyes and blush because of those pink tones. I absolutely love this. Does the color story speak Bridgerton to me? Except for the blue, not really. <laughs> so it doesn't scream Bridgerton to me, but I don't, I don't care. Do I think it's a pretty color story? I, I think it's pink and uh, Pat McGrath likes to do pink. So if we take that blue out of here, at least from the photos, I don't necessarily think it's a unique color story from Pat McGrath, uh, but I love that it seems to be marketed as an eye blush palette. So you're supposed to be able to use those. This is what I'm assuming just from what I'm getting from what I see in front of me. You're supposed to be able to use those pinky shades as blush. I like that idea. And I do think the tones of this palette is pretty. But again, if I cover the blue, I see a like Divine Rose 10 from her makeup line, truly. But again, what does it say? 
flawless, my dear, on there. Oh, I just love it. I love it. As a Bridgerton fan, I'm really excited about this, but let's say I'm not into Bridgerton. This particular color story doesn't excite me. So yeah, that's where I'm at with that. Next, let's take a look into the Sublime Skin Highlighters. So first of all, taking a step back from uh, being a Bridgerton fan, this is a really great formula. There are two shades and one is very clearly going to be for deeper skin tones and one for lighter skin tones. Uh, so the Incandescent Gold 002 is a sparkling platinum gold and then Extreme Gold 002 is a yellow gold. Correct me if I'm wrong because I, I didn't do my due diligence before filming this. I just wanted to turn the camera on because I had to talk about this. But I believe these are new shades. Are they? Hold on. Okay, I was looking for the newest highlight and I can't find it because I filmed with it last week and my room is in shambles right now <laughs> uh, but I'm pretty sure this is a new shade there is an incandescent gold 003 hold on hold on I gotta look now but this one is lunar nude I'm pretty sure both are new shades anyways I'm gonna be picking both of them up I will say the front of these highlights where they have the Bridgerton logo and it's gonna be just like the gold writing it kind of does look a little cheap to me I wish they would have done a little bit more it's okay if you disagree with me I don't love that but the inside makes up for it. I mean, look at that embossment. It's like kind of the same as what the inside of the holiday highlight looks like, except you have this naked angel baby flying <laughs> towards the crown. So regal, so beautiful. I don't care that I'm pretty, pretty light. I will be picking up both. Now let me say this, taking a step back, not a Bridgerton fan, would I like this? Yes, I really like this highlight formula. But you know what? She's um she's a spency. I think this formula is going to cost around $60 for this highlight, unless you can get it on sale. But I don't feel confident that you'll be able to get this on sale because the Star Wars collection, which was the last collaboration, it like sold out in a few seconds and they never did restock. You can never get anything from that collection again until she did eventually come out the holiday palette last year. I just I don't know about waiting for this collection being on sale. But anyways, excited about this. I love this highlight formula and I will be picking both of these up and I think the colors are super duper nice. Okay, I believe this is the last item at least that we're aware of in this collection because sometimes she does come out with other parts of the collection later but I think this might be it this is the divine blush and glow trio now this has shades that I already have in here we have the cherish blush nymphette blush which is like such a beautiful muted blush and Venus Nectar. If you didn't ha pick up any of the individual blushes or you only own the trios from this past holiday collection, amazing deal. Whether or not you are a Bridgerton fan, I have all of these shades so I'm not jumping for joy on what's inside but I will be picking it up because I'm a Bridgerton fan. I must have it. But no, I don't need this. These are repeat shades but I think it's nice that she's coming out with these. If you weren't able to buy an individual blush because those are very very expensive the formula is phenomenal so even if you aren't a Bridgerton fan I think this is going to be a really fabulous deal really nice colors not my all-time favorite I do prefer the colors in the holidays ones these are going to be very pinky toned blushes for a brighter cheek but I will be picking it up the packaging of it I just absolutely need to have but this is probably the least exciting for me because these are not new shades. You know, yeah. here's a look at the swatches if you need to see. I mean, color story-wise of this collection are these things we've seen before. Yes, absolutely. I think the bottom left extreme gold looks like the Fenty highlight to me. I just don't think these are anything new, but I just, I love the concept. I love the packaging and I know I'm going to love the quality. The highlight that sparkling platinum gold oh i'm dying for it i think it's going to be stunning on the eyes i do love a pink cheek so i am feeling the color story of the blush palette 
I'm interested to see how that blue is going to look. You'll see we have this photo right here where it looks like it's over a black base so that blue is really popping but then you also have this photo over here where it looks like she might have taken that blue shade in, that, in the palette and just lightly patted it on top but it's mostly about those pinky shades. I'm also interested to see how the pinky shades in the eyeshadow palette compared to the blush shades in the blush palette. Here is a photo of what the highlight is going to look like. I mean, it looks beautiful. You probably don't need it. <gasps> Whoa, look at this photo. Looks like a mixture of the blush, and I love how it looks like she used the darker gold shade on somebody with more of a light medium skin tone, and that looks beautiful for a more editorial look. So, I mean, moral of the story is... I'm pumped for this collection. I'm 100% picking up everything from this collection. I know the formulas are going to be fabulous. And as a Bridgerton fan, I didn't see this coming. And this is genius. And I'm so excited. Is this collection going to be as exciting for somebody who is not a Bridgerton fan? No, but I would say if I was not a Bridgerton fan, I would still be excited for that blush palette because it's a great deal. And I would be interested in the highlights, though none of us need a highlighter. But those look stunning. The palette, probably a pass. But I'll let you guys know when I have it in my hands. You know what I mean? We haven't seen much yet. I'm going to keep an eye out for more details. But I can tell you at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, December 26th, I will be there. All right, friends. Let's chat about it. Comment down below your thoughts on this collection. Will you be picking this up? Are you a Bridgerton fan? I especially want to hear if you're not a Bridgerton fan, what are your thoughts on this collection? Because I am certainly biased. And thank you again for joining me on this Vlogmas journey. I stayed up late to film this for you guys and to edit it because I need to chat with my people. We need to talk about this. So <laughs> anyways, if you aren't subscribed to my channel already, please do so to be notified of when I'm uploading because I'm doing it every day. I will see you all in the next one. Thanks for joining me, guys. Bye.